you understand now the beauty of that is hundreds and thousands. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to go completely crazy and welcome to the stage, Song Chong! Yeah, so today, sorry, I've got them all very excited. And you know what? You actually have the power too. Okay. So if, yeah. if you want to, at any point in time, sure. you could gesture to one side of this room, raise, raise your hand. Oh. Oh. that only a few people ever get in their life. Well, I'm privileged. You, you, <laughs> aren't, aren't we both? No. So, uh, first of all, please, you, you've taken your seat, you're happy, you're comfortable, are you feeling well? Yes, I, I'm excited. I get to eat things, right? That, yes. That's the only reason I'm here, otherwise I'm leaving. No. <laughs> well, under this we have either the body of a small child that we killed earlier, or Possibly a whole bunch of snacks. Survival of the fittest. Yeah, well, <laughs> point out, no. yeah, yeah. This is, this is this is definitely Survivor Australian stuff. Yeah. Um, so first of all, to anyone who doesn't know, a why are you here? Um, but b, could you please just give us a, a potted history of someone Cho? Anyone here not know who I am? Oh, sure. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's my wife sitting there. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, I am Sungwon Cho, I'm a voice actor, I also have a YouTube channel, Bruise TV, and I'm here to judge Australia as harshly as possible. Uh, that is my goal today. But I'm excited, I've had some Australian snacks already, and they've all been pretty good, so I'm looking forward to it. Are you enjoying your first time here in Australia? I am, very much so. Have you, have you done anything exciting since you've been here? I know it's only been, what, a day and a half? You went to the Sydney Opera House. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it existed. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it was nice. Um, but more importantly, I've had I've been diving into the food, so I've had like well, I won't go into it too, too much. I'll reveal stuff that I've had if okay. it shows up. But I've been stopping by the convenience store. Uh, we ordered macas. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm diving into Australian culture. As, as a matter of interest, what did you order from macas? So I wanted to get items that we don't have, so I got the McFeast. Oh. Yes. The chicken and cheese. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. They were okay. Uh, I was not. But the fries were pretty good, but um, not terrible. But it was it was all right. I hear Hungry Jack's is pretty good here. Yes. Oh, yeah. So good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm personally a Hungry Jack's fan. Okay. Because uh, in America, uh, America Burger King is shit. But uh, <laughs> if it's better here, I would like to try it. Um, yeah. But so I guess the, the question is, in terms of rating Australia, have we thus far met your expectations or exceeded them or are yet to meet expectations? Uh, I think it's the people. I think they've exceeded expectations. I think everyone has been really, really nice. Uh, and yeah, the food has met my expectations so far. I've been pretty happy overall with, with what I've had. So. Okay, I'll mark that down on the rating scale. Sure. <laughs> yeah. right, thank you. So, are you okay to take this test? Uh, are you, do you consent to having this test taken? <laughs> what the hell is under this sheet? <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. 100%. Excellent. Yeah. Well, then, I would like you all to welcome to Someone Rates Australia! <laughs> Some pretty interesting ideas, sure, and, and many of which have been snacks. 
Sure. Um, we, we created uh, wonderful things like the goon bag. We also created the hill <laughs> <laughs> I will explain to you what it is, but I'll also combine it with another famous Australian uh, invention, the Hills Hoist. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, and, and the combination of which creates one of the greatest games in the world. Um, so a goon bag, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, anyone, anyone want to say what a goon bag is? Box wine. Box wine. Box wine. Okay, so it's, it's wine that you get in a box. Ah, And, okay. and the plastic bladder is called goon bag because we call box wine goon. Why do you call it goon? Because <laughs> that's what it turns you into if you drink a goon. <laughs> I see, interesting. And a hill's hoist is yeah. uh, essentially the, the uh, clothes dryer out in the backyard. If you hang the goon yeah. on the hill's hoist and then spin it, you play a game called Goon of Fortune. <laughs> Wherever the goon bag stops. This is not a real country, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is just like a parody of a country. <laughs> <laughs> so, so continue. Goon, goon of fortune. What, yeah. do you, what do you do? Uh, you just you drink the. Uh, if it lands on you, you drink until you can no longer stand up or spin the hills. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I must admit, a lot of our inventions are very alcohol-based. Sure, sure. Um, yeah. Including the shoey, which you learned about yesterday. I didn't hear about that yesterday, <laughs> which I will never be doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I went and bought shoes for you, just in case. No, no, no. no. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I didn't know your size. No. Okay, so before we get any further along, we're going to have a look at some snacks. Okay. Are you excited to see what's under here? Yeah! yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this and hope that not everything goes on. Sure. Right? So, prep. Hey! Yeah. Oh, we're oh, okay, okay. Okay, so feel free to, to have a bit of a look here. Yeah. Um, so we've got. Hold Sam on. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Sam boy. yeah. That's yeah. not real. Uh, <laughs> I've had shapes before. Uh, I don't know if I've had this flavor, but I've had this. So, so just, just hold up the shapes. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is shapes, Vegemite, and cheese. <laughs> Burger rings. Uh, I had these yesterday, actually. Oh, really? I did, yeah. Uh, but I'll reserve my opinion until uh, I get to it. Uh, Tasty tubes? <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. I don't know what accent that was. What was it? Australian? Yeah? No? Wherever you are, please come back. Um, Pods Mars. Uh, we got some Shapes Pizza here. Um, sorry, just, just a quick, uh, a quick straw poll of the room. Yeah. What do you think the best, the uh, best shapes are? Okay, so this is one of the times I do actually need to shut up. <laughs> I want to see a show of hands. Who thinks it's pizza shapes? Yeah. Okay. Who thinks it's the original barbecue shapes? Yes. Ooh. And who thinks it's chicken crimpies? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Goodness, yeah, so, so there, there is a lot of argument to be had here over what is the best shape. Yowie Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah. So Yowie's, how many people loved Yowie's as a kid? Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah. Sour Patch Kids we have. In oh, right. You do yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, are, were these made in America? Uh, I don't think this is an Australian original. <laughs> I could be totally wrong on that. No, you're probably right. Yeah, okay. I mean, one other thing that we're very good at in Australia is, is going, okay, what's something that somebody else has invented? Sure, sure. <laughs> Russell Crowe, yeah, we'll just take that. Uh, <laughs> Sam Neill, yeah, we'll take that. A Kinder Surprise, I've, I've, had, I've had this. Okay. I had a Cherry Ripe yesterday. Uh, How was it? I do love this one, the Violet Crumble. Yeah. Uh, oh. I've had that one before. Uh, we got some shapes. Original barbecue. Yeah. Caramello koala. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Red rippers. <laughs> okay, so, so, oh, yeah. so 
the, the humor of that one is they used to have a different name, but then it became culturally insensitive. Ah, oh, I see. They were, called, they were called Redskins. Can you understand? Ah, oh, yeah, I, I guess I can surmise. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Fredo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, freckles. Yeah. Yes. And uh, this is this is one for all of you Australians out there. Uh, we Sherbies. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, there, there's the one that we couldn't have. Um, so let's just have a quick minute of silence. Fantails. Oh, yeah. I've heard of these fabled fantails. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, one of, I think one of my autographs was telling me I had to try these, but they're not available. Huh? No, no. Fantails, may they rest in peace. Mm, I see. Dentists all over Australia are very sad because they were very thick caramel. Ah, okay. So many tooth, tooths, teeth lost. I see. Fantails. I see. And we also have. Anzac Biscuits, oh, yeah. Yeah. and then Lamingtons. Yeah. And we do have one final uh, piece de resistance, which we will be bringing in a little bit later. Okay. Um, okay. So, so first of all, I do want to know, what's your go-to snack for when you're watching anime? Do you still Ooh. watch anime? I do watch anime. Uh, my favorite snack, I don't know, do you guys have ruffles? We did. Oh. We did. We did. Did you, did you kill them? Like, <laughs> um, so there are ri a ripple potato chip in America, and there's a flavor called cheddar and sour cream that is really, really good. So that's like my go-to. Um, yeah. Okay. So w which one would you like to start with? Because we, we, as yet, we haven't got a single rating down, other than you seem to think that, uh, according to this, Australia is, and I quote, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't I go through the one? Are we, what, are we doing, this, doing this on a point scale? How do you want to do this? I don't care. Out of five? I'm, I'm okay. literally just writing down squiggles on a piece yeah, of Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I'm going to go through stuff I've had before. Okay. First. So and we'll then, just go through all the shapes. Uh, this is Shapes Pizza. Uh, I've had shapes before, and I've had a good number of flavors. Uh, and this is going to be out of five. Yes, good face. Oh. Um, we love the munch. The, the munch is strong. Um, needing a drink of water over here. This, this, uh, this, this indicates to me that maybe a little dry. Yeah. A little dry, but they're good. Um, I noticed that Australian snacks aren't nearly as intensely flavored as American snacks. And it's not a bad thing. I think we do over season our stuff. Um, it's pretty good. I think I gotta have one more just to. <laughs> yeah, you can't have just one. Hang on, that's a totally different one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a solid 3.5 out of 5. I think that's a good, solid, healthy, solid, solid cracker. 3.5, that's like a healthy rating. That is, that is a good, that's something that people should be happy to have been rated. So then, barbecue. This is the OG? This is the OG. This is. The original shapes. Okay, okay. Would, you, would everybody agree with me on that one? Yeah. yeah. I do like. They're all. All the flavors have different shapes. shapes. Yeah. It's all on the box. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nodding. Nodding, but chewing. Oh. Chewing needs more water. <laughs> yeah. Serious face. Eyebrows furrowed. <laughs> no, trying not to laugh. Going back for seconds, good sign. Always a good sign going back for seconds. Definitely needs more water. Starting to regret the second. <laughs> so barbecue. What what kind like when you guys do barbecue <laughs> what is it supposed to taste like? Because for us barbecue is very in America it's a very like tangy tomatoey barbecue flavor. This doesn't taste like that. What is, what is Australian barbecues going for? Right. What do we think? Specifically that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's essentially when you've done yeah. the, because also Australians don't do barbecue in the same way as they're doing the same right, in America. Right. Like in, in America, barbecue is where you, you roast the meat for hours and hours and hours, yeah. and mm -hmm. then you put heaps of barbecue sauce and you pull it and it becomes an amazing thing. Right. What do we do here in Australia? Slap it on the barbecue. Exactly. You get 
Two pieces of steak, a couple of sausages, and a burger, throw them on a barbecue, have a couple of beers, forget about them, burn them, have some <laughs> white bread, some dead horse on top of it, and away you go. So it's just supposed to taste like meat. Yeah, basically. Okay. It doesn't taste like meat. It's, uh, they're okay. I'm not as into these as I am the pizza ones. Oh, I think just because I can't recognize what these are supposed to taste like. Um, they kind of taste like like a fake pizza to me. Like, I don't know. They, they taste more like a fake pizza than the fake pizza. Exactly, yeah. Wow. I'm going to say like a three. I'm going to say like a three out of five for the, the barbecue. And then, um, are there any other shapes besides the Vegemite ones? Vegemite ones, which we might come on. Now we got the uh, chicken crippy. Yeah. 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 Where are my crippy fans at? Woo. Is a crippy like a pie? Um, no, it's more just that we crimped the edge of it and went, oh yeah, it's crimpy. <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean the cracker itself? Like, yeah, look at the edges. Oh, the shape, that's why it's called a crimpy? <laughs> Again, this is not a real country, okay? Carl? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Went back for a second one very quickly. Still needed water. Eyebrows not furrowed on this one. Thoughtful. Pensive. They're pretty good. Um, they're a little plainer than the other ones, but they got kind of like a nice buttery sort of like simple flavor. Like the fact that I just I just went for a third one. I was entirely unbidden. I think that alone's got to raise it up for me. I'm gonna say three point six. I'll say three point six. Oh, Chicken crimpy. Who knew that the Crimpies were going to be such a strong contender? Like, the subconscious third pull, that's yeah. strong. That is yeah. very important that you, you didn't even think about it, you just went straight to it. Yeah, it's one of those where it's like, it's subtle, and you're like, oh, it's like pretty good, and you're like, you just keep going, you keep going. And then it's a, it's a strong sign yep. for a snack. Vegemite and cheese, eh? Okay. I know but Vegemite's pretty divisive, right? Very much so. The, the, I like Vegemite. Uh, you do? I do. Oh, how, how, how did you have it? I had it on toast with butter. Yes. 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 And how much did you have? Like a, you know, thin layer, not yeah, that yeah, too crazy. Yes. 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 yes, we'll adopt you, yes. Okay. <laughs> These are shaped like Australia. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, because Vegemite is so absolutely integral to us as Australians. God only knows why. Okay, straight to the water. Oh, 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 straight back to the box. The crunch is good on these ones. The shape, slightly hard on the mouth. All of the, like the Cape York Peninsula and everything, that really can get into the gums if you're uncomfortable. <laughs> also, personally, disappointed there's no Tasmania on there. I don't know, I don't know how you do a floating part. It's on the, the crumbs at the bottom. The, oh, the crumbs at the bottom. Well, that's, <laughs> never has anything more true of instead of Tasmania. <laughs> I can say that I'm from there. <laughs> These are pretty good. They're like, do um, you guys have Cheez Its? Yeah. 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 We do, but they're, they're, they're very yeah. popular in America. Um, they're like a slightly more bitter Cheez It. And that's a good thing for me, actually. Yeah. The Vegemite has a, a definite bitterness. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's, it's sort of, it's, it speaks to our history of slavery. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. no, I'm political there and I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm going to say 3.7. I, oh. I think these are my favorite of the show. Wow. Yeah, I like Vegemite. Like I like, I like that kind of funky, you know, savory flavor. You are winning fans here. So. Oh yeah? It, yeah, people look, 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 my hands we, up there. How do we feel about the Vegemite love? Woo! Okay, uh, so pizza shaped fans, where are you? Woo! Yeah. How do you feel? Woo! What? <laughs> one person is like, yeah. Uh, I noticed there were a lot more pizza shaped fans at the start. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. I, I never really liked them in the first place. I don't know what you're talking about. So burger rings. Uh, I had these yesterday. How, how, where are our Burger Rings fans? Do we love our Burger Rings? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Immediate response. 
powerful. These are not the same as the ones. These are stale, I think. Oh, no. There's no way they're supposed to taste like this. Oh, no. <laughs> Take them go away. Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm glad I had a fresh batch of things <laughs> yesterday, because the ones I had yesterday were pretty good. They're like, yeah. they're nice. They're like, I like it. These, I'm going, I'm just going to just hear this. Oh. <laughs> I don't want them out of my sight. I don't want <laughs> but does anyone want some stale burger rings? Sure. Congratulations. They're all yours, buddy. Hand them around. You can all agree. Yeah, <laughs> try how stale they are. Uh, well, yeah, a fresh batch of burger rings. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah no, you have some too. Yeah. I'm going to go. For a fresh batch, like a three point, three point. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go three point seven. Three point seven. I'm gonna match the bench on my shit. I like them. You really like the burgers? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I love that they're now moving backwards. Yeah, please pass them along. They are truly dreadful. Uh, <laughs> you see, as they hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up we got the cherry ripe. Um, is this like, do people like this? Woo! Yeah! yeah. Uh, I had this one yesterday, and, um, well, let me, let me try it again. I did like it, but. Yeah. <laughs> A stale cherry ripe. There's the definition of hell. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Look at the sharp nodding of the head. Good chewing action. I like this a lot. Um, yes. It's got a nice strong fruit flavor. I like the cherry. Um, chocolate here is just better than ours. Our chocolate tastes like shit in America. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's good. Like I had a bar yesterday and I really liked it. I'm gonna say 3.7. I'm gonna yeah, that's, that's, right. that's been like this the standard good really like good quality rating is 3.7. Um, We've done, we've done pretty well so far on 3.7. Mm -hmm. Now, do we feel at the moment that we're rating about right? Do you, yes. you want to go higher? Do you feel like maybe he's judging harshly? What is a fine? Well, yeah, that's a, ooh, maybe that's we'll a find very out good today. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah. It's got to really like kick my ass with flavor. Um, <laughs> I've had this before. It's been a while since I've had a violent crumble. But, um, is there anything like that in the U.S.? Like we don't do honeycomb stuff in America. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have crunchy? Yeah, you don't crunchy. What the hell is crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we, have, we have crunch, which is a very different thing. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Essentially, in Australia, we have two bars that are exactly the same bar. <laughs> yeah. They just have different names. One of them is called Violet Crumble. The other one's called Crunchy. <laughs> and please explain to me scientifically how that's the same. Violet crumbles, Nestle chocolate, crunchy is Cadbury chocolate. Okay, true. <laughs> As a Tasmanian, I must stand for Cadbury, so, yeah. This is good. I like this a lot. Yeah. Yes. There's something about the, the honeycomb in them that really does it for me. Flavor's great. Texture's great. Um, 4.3. I also had uh, yesterday. They make a milk version of this, like the milk, the violet crumble flavored milk. It was great. Oh, <laughs> like an yeah, yeah, just milk that tastes like this. It was fantastic. Yeah, probably about the same. I mean, it was great. Yeah, I like I like both a lot. Um, this is the winner so far. 4.3 is a high rating. And uh, do we have any fans of violet crumbly? Yeah. 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 Okay, what about Fancy Crunchy? Yeah. Wow. You, didn't, you didn't bring Crunchy though? I, I, I didn't realize it was going to be a, a, a bigger deal as it was, otherwise we would have. I, I feel really bad about this. I've had a Kinder surprise before, I believe. And this is not Australian, is it? No, no, no. It's, it's very much Swedish or yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. 
German. Yeah, it's just like there's like poison in this, right? I think What's the are, toy? What's the toy? Yeah, is it? Like, the no. <laughs> they don't give a shit about your rating, they just want to know what the toy is. <laughs> I think these are illegal in America. Yeah. 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 They like banned these. Oh, pardon me. Uh, it's too. Like, are these monkeys like <laughs> grinding each other? <laughs> They are. What? <laughs> Op like do? What? 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 what is this? Um, it's like, a, oh, it's supposed to be, I think, two pieces of a suit coming together. But look at this. It looks like two oh. robots, like. Yeah, no, they're screwing, definitely. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're two robots who are, who are engaging in a missionary position. Gotcha. <laughs> Anybody I want to be specific. Why they're banned in America. <laughs> Let's try the Kinder Surprise. Okay. Yeah. Thoughtful. Really, really taking his time with this one. So the inside is like white chocolate, yeah. mm -hmm. which yeah. I like. Um, it's good. Um, I tend to like candy with a little more texture, like a crunch or something like that. Um, well, the flavor is good. I'm going to say it's like a. Like a 3.4 for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like, thus far. It's like pretty good. Um, I think. Oh no, these because like I'm familiar with these. Okay. Although black currant is not a flavor that we have in America. I know that's really popular here, right? Yeah. yeah. What is a black currant? Uh, it's like a berry. A berry. It's a, it's a yeah. berry. It's, it's, like the, it's in the name. It's literally a currant that happens to be black. Got it. A currant is a berry. Yeah. Yeah. Like a. Is, can anyone tell me the difference between a berry and a currant? <laughs> nope, didn't think so. <laughs> you guys just make things up and just go with it. Right in the center. That's how we, that's how we uh, became the culture. <laughs> I'm very familiar with Sour Patch Kids. Let's see how these compare. Okay, no, no immediate wins, which is good. No, no, like, because I know some people at the moment, they have a Sour Patch boy. Like, no, we're good. Going back straight for the second. Flavor, feeling, yeah. yeah, plenty of nodding happening. I feel like this is a good sign. Difficult to are, they, are these popular in, in Australia? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, <coughs> way less sour than American Sour Patch Kids. Really? Oh, these okay. are a lot sweeter. Not in that like the sickly way, but like, <coughs> American Sour Patch Kids is really sour. Like, it immediately like, hits you, like, in the back of the throat. Make, makes you, your mouth go a little squinchy. Yeah, it, they, they kind of overdo it. I like these. These are, like, very, like, they're they're nice and sweet. Um, just the right amount of sour. Um, kind of tastes like real fruit, maybe. Like, <laughs> you heard of real, real, fruit, real fruit once. Yeah. Maybe walk past some fruit once. Something that's different though, in America, the Sour Patch Kids in America, which I kind of, I kind of miss this, they have almost the sugar, and this is probably horrible for you, but it's so thick, it's like kind of crunchy. And so, you know what I'm talking about, right? These don't have that, it's like a powder. Oh, what, it's like a gummy bear? It's, no, no, it's like, they're like a, a nice dusted gummy bear. But in America, they're like, can I, can I swear here? Is that what yeah. 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 twice yeah. already? In so. America, they're crunchy fuckers. They're just like <laughs> they're just like crunchy sour things. I like them in America a lot. I like these too. I'm gonna say three point six. Like I like them. Yeah, they're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've got some freckles now. The question is, do we want to keep going with the snacks? We we do have another thing that we'd like you to rate. Why? Um, We'd like to, you to rate uh, our taste. Um, okay. So thus far we have tasted a lot of Australian food. Sure. But we've got uh, a few people who have submitted some things that we would like you to rate to see whether or not our taste is as good as your taste. Okay. So I would like to go through all these. Oh yeah, no, we'll, we'll come back to them. Don't okay. worry. Okay. I, I think <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave these for the moment. Sure, sure. Because sure. what we would like to do is rate some waifus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> um, so we asked a whole bunch of people who their anime waifus were and husbandos. Uh, and now someone we would let you rate their pick. Uh, so we can score it out of five. Do you want sure. to keep going with it out of five? Yeah, okay. Out of five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. So let's see whether the clicker works. Are they going to be on screen? They will be okay, on the screen. They'll also be behind us. So we have a bunch of these. And yes. Wow. Okay. There's our first. So we don't know who sent this in, but this is somebody's waifu. Got it. Uh, Love me, and I never really watched uh, <laughs> this. This looks to me like you pull up an, a character creator, and this is the default <laughs> feature. <laughs> oh, I say uh, 2.5 out of 5. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm much meaner about these. Okay, let's keep going. Moving on. Yeah. Moving on. There we go. Wow. <laughs> so okay, I haven't seen Demon Slayer. Is this one, is this one who screams all the time? Yes. Yeah. Is he yeah. annoying? Yeah. 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 Zero out of five. Right? <laughs> Big hit. Seems very annoying. Yeah. Is that anyone's husband or waifu? <laughs> Nobody's a big dog. Oh, yeah. 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 After that, very, zero or no? Very telling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're moving on. Is it working? It's not working. Hey, there we go. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Lindhart and Shamir. Shamir is like a five. Shamir is like <laughs> I think maybe the second I played the I played three houses, not exaggerating, I think five times through. Oh, uh, shit. No no six. Five or six times through. And I think I married Shamir on the second run. Lindhart, uh, I like him. I don't think I think he's not really my type. I think he's a little too uh, passive. Um, but he, uh, I'd say like a 3.4, 3 3.4 from the current, I'd say. Yeah. Right? We'll move. I don't know where to, I, I'm just pointing. The, hey, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come back. Yeah. I like so I'm free. I never really watched free. This is like the. The one who's like, I'm a baby, right? Right? Something like that. The young one. Is this like the? I'm speaking in older terms. Is this the honey from Oran upgrade? <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Uh, I like that character, but uh, I don't know, like a two, two out of five. Sure, I'll say two. Okay. Um, but fit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the next one was what from Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Maki Zinnen. I've never seen Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, <laughs> I like the glasses. Yeah, I like the glasses. Is she like the serious type? Is she like no nonsense? -y? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, I think I'd have. I, I'd say I'll say like a three point seven. I like glasses, so I'll say three point seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At the same level as the Vegemite's uh, G uh, G shit. Uh, Kazuma from Noragami. Uh, this just looks like the anime character creator. Um, this, is, this is boy. Uh, uh, 1.5. I don't see uh, no, no interest. Uh, okay. Interesting. Default, yeah, default person. Um, okay. Uh, um, I love Full Metal Alchemist dearly. Uh, I love Winry. That's a five out of five. Next slide. Is it going to be easier if I say next slide? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Trafalgar Law. Ah, interesting. Um, I do like Law a lot. I think what makes Law go up for me is that. When he's around the straw hats, they just all make fun of him. Uh, he's such a nudge lord. So I'm going to say 4.7 out of 5. Oh. Yeah. All right, next, next slide. slide. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Uh, my Sakura Jima from Bunny Girl Senpai. So she's a bunny girl and a senpai? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know much, but ah, I'll say 3.6, 3 3.6, 3 sure, why not, yeah, why not, uh, I, okay, I have not seen this one, uh, I, I don't know this character, what, what's her deal? No one wants to speak, speak nobody, nobody wants to speak. 
She's what? She's a maid. She's a she's a she's based. Is that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> she's a maid. That's not a personality. What's that? <laughs> she's you're gonna be best girl. Okay, oh. I'm getting nothing from this. So I'm gonna say uh, three for now. Three until I would watch it later. Three. Okay. Next slide. If the first thing people shout is a maid. Okay, interesting. Uh. I'm familiar with this, but I haven't seen it. Uh, she seems nice. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'll say 3.6, 3.6 out of five uh, for Kyoko Mori. Okay, next line. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Interesting. Uh, I've only seen Fate Zero. I've seen a little bit of Fate Stay. Sundere, right? Like the classic Sundere? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I like the Sundere, I'm gonna say, uh, 3.5, 3.5 out of 5. Uh, yeah. As a matter of interest, does anyone have their own wife? Yeah! Oh! If you know Yukino Shita from Ore Gairu, from Ore Gairu, what's that one about? Best life what? Best life novel. Best life what? Light novel. Light novel. Best light novel. But what is it about? It's about best light novel. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is a, it's a girl, I'm gonna say, uh, 3.2 out of 5, sure, yeah. Ah. I mean, out of all the Evangelions, this is the only one that's worth anything. 5 out of 5. <laughs> Black Butler, I'm familiar. Uh, not really my vibe. Uh, I'm gonna say 2.9, 2.9 out of 5. Yeah. Okay. I look a little more beef on my clothes. Uh, you from Genshin Impact. Uh, has any has Genshin Impact ever heard of like beef? Like I want more beef. I don't need. One million twinks. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say like a two point four out of five. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Tamaki. Um, I think he's a very funny character, but I'm a Kyoya man myself. Uh, so I'm gonna say three point three out of five for Tamaki. Uh, next slide. Uh, I haven't seen this, but I like the beef already, so... <laughs> is this like a younger version and an older daddy. version? Yeah. It's the dad. What? It's the dad. He's a daddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> beef daddy. I'll say 3.7 out of 5 for this one. Uh, uh, interesting. I, I think this character is a great character to watch. Uh, I've seen up to season four of this. I've seen up to four, or no, season three, I think. And uh, really great moments, but kind of a little shit. I'm gonna say, uh, on a character scale, he's pretty great, but for this, I'm gonna say 3.3, 3.3 3. 3 for him, yeah. Okay. Uh, who's oh. we just a guy, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a, the pervy character or something? No? Just a guy? Just a guy. Two out of five. Next slide. Ah, okay. Uh, FYI, I voice this character. <laughs> and, uh, I, mean, I mean, the beef and, I mean, the voice is just so hot. <laughs> uh, easily a five out of five. Um, all right. Okay, amazing. my uh, incredible skills of mathematical averaging yeah. um, and looking at a whole bunch of numbers that I don't understand, uh -huh. I think currently our rating sits around about, out of five, around about a 3.7 average mm. for Australia. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. So that, so that was, thank you very much. Now, uh, first of all, what did you think of all of the voice actors and all of that? Okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll go through them all again and you have to rate the voice actors. Sure. Now, you're quite knowledgeable in the field of anime and gaming, so we thought it would be a, a good thing to uh, find out what you know about Australia. 
Yeah, sure. Nothing to do with anime. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Um, we, we've come up with a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, now first few questions are going to be names of places in Australia, and we want you to work out whether you think it's a real place name or a false. <laughs> True or false. And after this, we'll have yeah, a... It was really funny. At dinner last night, uh, I was talking to one of the staff, and I was telling them, okay, I'm going to tell you an American fast food thing, and you tell me if it's real or not. But I told them only real ones, and the, the half of them is like, fake? Fake? Yeah, but anyway, I'm very curious. Let's see. Okay, so our first place name is... <laughs> but now, but now, I'm going to say fake. It's true. <laughs> okay. Yes, All right. Sorry. Right. Okay, moving on. See, this sounds like a real place, so maybe you're trying to trick me. I'm going to say fake. Correct. Okay, okay. Well done. I'm trying to metagame this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, probably. I'm going to say, yeah, sure. Yeah! It's in Tasmania. You'll be driving past it. It's in Bacon Bay. Yep, yeah, the south of Tasmania. Okay. You live in Clouding the Chance of Meat. Aeromanga <laughs> is the name of an and a manga, I think. I'm going to say fake. It's true! <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go figure. Okay. okay, next. This sounds real, so I'm going to say fake. Correct! Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You've started to work out the, the, the system. Okay. 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 <laughs> White boy? <laughs> real. <Yeah>. Correct! <laughs> Junior, maybe? Wow, well done. I wasn't even going to take a tilt at that. Yeah, one, uh, I guess it's real, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, okay. Well done. Cool. All right. Okay. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, it sounds, I mean, everything else, it just seems like obviously, but this one sounds a little too. I'm going to say fake this time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a Pokemon, right? <laughs> uh, it's a sheep cook toilet cow toilet. I'm gonna say it's real. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well done. It's actually here in Sydney. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Cooly Poodle. Uh, this sounds like if Hulu Mulu was real. <laughs> maybe this one is. Fake. I'm gonna say fake. Okay. Hey, yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay, we're now gonna move on to a couple of true or false facts about oh, Australia. Boy. Okay, sure. Okay, so you did pretty well out of that. Out of the one, two, three, four, five, ten, you got more than half right. Well mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. okay. Remarkably well. Sure. Um, considering most Australians wouldn't have got half of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, our next uh, true or false. Was the term selfie invented in Australia? I'm gonna say no. It was probably invented by dumb Americans. Sadly, it was invented it was here. Invented here well, in Australia. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, our next one. <laughs> you lost a war to <laughs> I'm gonna say true. I think that happened. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we have any veterans here of the Great Emu Wars? <laughs> yeah, one up the back. Thank you for your service. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, now next question. Koalas are a type of bear. True or false? I think they are not a type of bear. They're like something else, like marsupials or something, right? I'm going to say false. Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, baby kangaroos are born the same size as a human baby. No, they're super small, I think. I think they are born like really small and like get bigger. That is absolutely right, yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're about the size of, I don't know, two things? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I read yeah. about that, yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. Australia hosts the World Championship Cockroach Racing. <laughs> Probably, uh, yes. I'm going to say yes. Correct! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In Brisbane on January 26th. Oh, oh, yeah. Australia Day, people. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Unless there's an elaborate prank on me. Uh, 
this is true. Correct. Yeah, okay. I still can't believe that's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've seen it done on stage. It's, wow. Yeah. Okay. You take one week to drive from the east coast of Australia to the west coast. And the road is called the time travel road. Seems like this is like almost like a trick. Like maybe like half of it is right and half of it isn't or something like that. I'm going to say it's false. Ah, uh, what was wrong about it? Uh, pretty much the whole thing. Uh, it's it's not a time travel road, but also it only takes about 42 hours. Oh, okay. But there are really shitty 42 hours. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, next question. Hmm. Okay, more people are sent to hospital over bee and wasp things and spider or snake bites. Uh, well, the thing is, Australia is full of terrifying things, right? Exactly. Like, you have, like, you have, like, all the deadly Pokemon here, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say this is true. Correct. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't actually have to be that afraid of spiders or snakes. Okay. And it was banned in Australia until 2002. I have an Australian friend, and unless he was like, I don't know, like living under, like, you know, in a, in a rock or something, I'm gonna say false. Yes, hey, there, there's no done. way that would be true, okay. And unless finally, this is one I love. Melbourne was originally going to be called Batmania after the founder, John Batman. <laughs> I'm gonna say true, that sounds like it would be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a real <laughs> Okay, so far you have been absolutely kicking our asses. Nice. Uh, very, very impressive. Yeah. So we've got some snacks that we're going to finish off on before okay. we go to our pièce de résistance of great Australian snacks. Ooh. So where would you like to go next with our list of snacks? Let's go with the Anzac biscuits. Is that? Am I saying that right? Anzac? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. These are an absolute classic. Uh, Usually made only one time of the year, but now available all year round. When do you usually make these? Around Anzac Day, funnily enough. When is that? What's Anzac Day? Uh, April 25th. No, what is it? Oh, oh sorry. Remembrance Day. Ah, for like a. Australian so, and Day. Anzac stands for Australian New Zealand Army Corps. Ah, I see, gotcha. So, so yeah. like your Veterans Day kind yeah. of? Yeah, okay. exactly. So these. Ah. Very chewy. Yeah, yeah um, that's how they should be. Am I right? Chewy yeah, anzac yeah, biscuits? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they're hard, they're terrible. Yeah. yeah. I had one of these in the green room before those. Um, they're pretty good, but I need like, I don't know, like tea or milk. Yeah. Or yes, yeah. yes, that is yeah. the correct answer. Um, so, I'm gonna say on its own, it's like a 3.4, I think, but I think if I had some of the Dunk it in or something, I, it would probably go up. But okay, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Three point four. Chewy. Okay. Come. So now, do you want to go to Freckles, Freddos, or Flemingtons? I'm gonna go with these because I had oh, one of these. Uh, I had the Snickers one. Yeah. Is that right, Emory? Yes. These are Pod Mars. The best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine combination of biscuit, a little bit of caramel, some chocolate yeah, on top, I, I can get white size. These, these are good. These uh -huh. things are amazing in the cinema. Yeah. 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 Am I right? Yeah. 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 What was my highest rating so far? 4.2? Is that what I feel? 4.3 was your highest so far, apart from a few waifus that you rated 5. Okay. <laughs> 4.5 for these pods. <laughs> I like that crunchy and the, yeah, that's a nice mix. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, where do you want to go next? We've got freckles, we've got caramel koalas, we've got some sherbies, or lamingtons. Still, we have one final one. I think I'm going to need a water. Does, does anyone, can anyone give me a water stab just because I'm running yeah, a little bit Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm water. pretty sure Chris um, is on his way with I'll a water go. right now. Right, cool. Um, I think I'm going to go through the sweets first, because I tend to like savory stuff more. Okay. So I'm going to save some savory stuff for last. Well, I don't know what this is. It's a okay. Yowie Diddy. <laughs> so Yowie's disappeared for a while. Okay. Um, they, they were a, a sort of snack for kids in the 90s. So it's like a Cadbury egg, but, but not. It's, it's sort of got a little bit of the Kinder Surprise going on. Okay. But 
Um, Australian animals almost exclusively in them. Okay, okay. Uh, Chris is just bringing you some water. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I can't. Everyone say hi, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. I can't open this. See if you can open this. Um, so this is just chocolate? It is. Come on, muscles. <laughs> okay, there we go. We, we are open. All right. So let's have a look at the toy. Oh, it's like a, like a lizard? Frog? Yeah, a little frog, actually. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little like tr green tree frog. Am I right? Oh, a mutable rain frog. Mutable? Is that right? I, yes, let's okay, go. Okay, sure. Um, the toy's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna throw it up to this side. Just be careful. Uh, Watch your eyes. Just gonna toss it. Ninja stuff. Hey. <laughs> Who's got the safe hands over there? Yeah. Okay, what do we think of the chocolate so far? Have we had it? This is okay. Uh, I'm not big on just chocolate, just for chocolate's sake. Uh, this is like a, it's like a 2.9 for me. It's not, oh, I'm not, cool. and like since the toy, it's okay. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of how I feel about chocolate just for chocolate's sake anyway. Okay. Cadbury's is really bad. You think, oh, Cadbury's is really bad? I'm from Norway. Interesting. Oh, okay, right. I was going to say, and you are from, sir? Because you got a whole room as a bad to lynch you, buddy. Have you ever had Hershey's chocolate? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just vomit. So, yes. um, I had a girlfriend who was American and brought me Hershey's chocolate, and I was like, "Do you hate me?" Mm. <laughs> so this is Freddo. Freddo. <laughs> Freddo frogs. Uh, okay, that's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> now, is it a? Is it just a? Is it a chocolate one or is it a strawberry? Chocolate. Uh, just a straight chocolate. Okay. It's better than the. The house called the Yowie Shally, what was it called? Yeah, Yowie, yeah. Diddy is the name yeah, of the Diddy. Okay. Much like Tinky, Lala, and Co. Um, <laughs> slightly better, um, but this still sits at like a three for me. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. If this had like some nuts in it, or like a cookie crunch or something, I'd be into it, but only that's okay. What's, what's the best Freddo? Like, Caramel. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you do. Does it have like a caramel filling or? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not yeah. Really good. Which is a little more like the caramel koala here. Um, Let's do that next. Then. I'm a big fan of the strawberry Woo! Frodo. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Does it a strawberry filling as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the caramel koala. Quite right. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're pulling apart and you see the, the caramels stretching. Oh, nothing better. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. I'm gonna say with the caramel, um, 3.4, I'll say for the caramel. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah, okay. We're, we're back to sort of mid-level ratings. We're not, we're not hitting the highs. The yeah, big I mean, highs these, of the- These were really good. I love the pods, a lot of the crumble. Yeah. Um, Okay, okay. Okay. Now, do you want to go to either uh, a yes. Red Ripper or a Sherby or a Lamington? Mm. Or do you want to go into the Savories? We are going to have to, we we're kind of running out of time. So. Oh, how much time do we have left? Uh, technically, I, where, Chris, how long? He doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> uh, a shrug if you want. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, if we're running out of time, I'll hold off on these because they need to take a long time. They, they are quite chewy. Um, then why don't I do. Let's do, I'll do, I'll try to go through these. I'll do, I'll do the freckles, the limingtons, and these two. I'll try to go through them quickly. Okay, um, I'll, I'll go and prepare our last. Okay. Um, freckles. Love freckles? Yeah. So, you guys call these hundreds and thousands, right? Yeah. That's the funniest thing to me in the world. <laughs> you call these sprinkles. Uh, not hundreds and thousands, but. Um, I kind of like them. I'm, uh, I'm going to say the crunch is pretty good. 3.5. I'll say 3.5 for the freckles. Nice. Freckles yeah. 3.5. Lambing crunch. And a soft sponge cake with chocolate coating and coconut. Is that traditional? Is that always how yeah. they are? Yeah. 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 Chocolate. Um, you can get different flavors. There's like raw strawberry ones and stuff like that. Sometimes they have cream in them. But always chocolatey flavor, a bit of coconut, and a piece of cake, basically. Uh -huh. Very traditional Australian, uh, like cake food. 
once again, probably invented by New Zealand, but you know, we, we, will, we will take credit for it anyway. Pretty good. Um, I think for me, I guess I'm more of a texture guy. But yeah. The flavor is nice. I like the coconut. Um, but since it's just sponge cake, I'm not like crazy about it. But I'm going to say it's like a like a 3.3. I think for me, okay. I think it's not bad. Um, okay. So good on time. Okay. So yeah, you can Two go more, to, and then uh, and then I'll I'll go and grab our finale. Pasty pasty tubes. <laughs> Are these popular here? No. no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's still good. What's better, tubes or cheesels? Cheesels. Oh, I'm sorry, we have screwed you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Are these supposed to taste like? It's kind of pickly, like a pickly, like a tangy. Like mm. Now I want to taste them because I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never experienced them and said that they taste pickly. <laughs> They're still like kind of vinegary, kind of vinegary, oh. kind of, you know. Oh wow, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, Would you agree? They're adjacent to pickly, they vinegary. Yeah, they they, yeah, yeah. they, they are. Distant relatives of pickles. Yeah. Um, um, texture is nice. They're 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 crunchy. I like them um, fine. But uh, I'm gonna say like a three point four, three point four for the or three point five. I'll do three point five. Does anyone have any cheesels? Uh, uh, just randomly. <laughs> just randomly on you. Uh, anyone? Because these are not. I a had cheesels the other day. Those are pretty good. Those would be like a three point six, I think, for me. Yeah, cheesels are a bit of Sam boy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think just the American meat, which is these were a little sweeter, because I kind of like a sweeter barbecue. Um, it's a little salty, but these are like a 3.8. I think these are. Oh, wow. Potato chips are definitely more my my speed. Also, I thought you guys called them crisps, but no, there's chips here too, right? Yeah. Okay, good. You guys are correct. Okay. <laughs> uh, but also, we have many different like chips and chips and chips. Yeah. So you have hot fries. Chips, you have. I mean, McDonald's, you get fries. Mm. But also, you wouldn't be mistaken if you said, oh, "I'll have some chips with." Them. You know, they'd understand you. So this final is this the this, final. This item? is the finale. Okay. Um, and this is this is. From me to you. Yeah. Um, this is very important. Um, one of I, I'm, I'm guessing pretty much all people here have had a birthday party. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all know what's coming up. <laughs> uh, so we will. We, you understand now the beauty of that is hundreds and thousands. Yeah. We present. <laughs> Actual butter and not shitty margarine. Wow.
hundreds and thousands are way better than our sprinkles. Like our sprinkles are not good. Like the crunch of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands. <laughs> it's actually a very appealing crunch. It's got a nice sweetness. Um, I totally get it. And in fact, as an adult, like I don't really like super sweet desserts anymore. So this is something where I'm like, I mean, I'm just I'm going for it again. I. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of sold on this. <laughs> my friend, my friend, Australian friend told me about this. I was like, you're joking. Like, there's no way you just spread butter on bread and put sprinkles on it. But, you know, just for the sheer, like, surprise of this, actually eating it, five out of five. <laughs> lovely little dessert. I, I especially um, went and looked for the right kind of hundreds and thousands because wow. in recent years they've changed the way that they do them. Yeah. Um, and they're the wrong colors. So I had to get the ones that are the wrong colors. What? what, what <laughs> I know. Am, am I crazy? No. Uh, no. What do they look like now? Suddenly they went to all these weird pastel colors and I'm like, no, it has to be bright blue, bright yellow, bright red. It has to have all of the colors and all of the numbers. That's all. And so I, that's why I... You guys take this very serious. Oh, yeah. Wow. Seriousness. Uh, well, thank you for fairy bread. Uh, I'm glad I tried it. And thank you all for being here. Yeah, my favorites are the fairy bread, the violet crumble on the, on the, what is it called, the pots. I think these were all winners for me. Okay, so, so just doing a quick straw poll of all of the numbers that I have. It looks like your rating sits with a couple of really high ones there at the end. Mm -hmm. um, sits at about a four. Yeah. Now, th this is just an average, so. Sure, sure. If you are forced, which I am doing right now, yeah. to ask you to rate Australia out of five, yeah. based on purely our snacks, bad tasting waifus, and fairy bread, yeah. how would you rate us? Uh, I would have to say a five out of five. Yeah. Yeah. As an audience, for someone, I would like you, as an audience, to rate him. <laughs> How do you rate Sung Chuk? Six out of five! Six out of five! Six out of five! Ten out of five? Okay, wow. Okay, yeah. Sexiest points out of five. Wow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this the traditional way. Uh, okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. All together. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> now I want you to put all your hands up and go completely crazy and say thank you so much to Song Wong Cho! Yeah.